everyone, it's Ange. Um, hi to all my friends and family, and hi to all the beautiful people who have clicked this video. Um, so, I flew to Manila, and I saw my girls, Fifth Harmony! <laughs> um, it was such an amazing experience, and I had so much fun. I made new friends, and my night was pretty fucking lit. Speechless. Before I get into the video, um, I just want to talk about um, how a lot of people question me why I would spend or travel all that way just for Fifth Harmony. Uh, if you didn't really know me, you wouldn't understand how much Fifth Harmony mean to me. They have given me so much inspiration and strength. They've helped me through my darkest days and they've helped me find a better version of myself, which I'm really proud of. Um, so to answer that question, I would go and spend that money because it's the only way I could repay them and show my love for them. So I would do it any day, any time, any year in my whole life because I love them so much. But I don't really want to bore you guys with all this talk. Um, but I'll talk more of the concert at the end of the video. I just wanted to talk about one of the memorable moments of the night. Um, I met these two beautiful girls, Jamie and Dana. Hi if you're watching, I miss you guys. Um, they literally made my night. If it weren't for them, I probably wouldn't enjoy the concert as much as I did. I'm so thankful that the universe found a way for us to meet each other that night. Um, so thank you. There is a lot of concert footage. Um, if you guys don't want to watch it, it's totally cool. Just skip to the end. But I really wanted you guys to experience and to see what I experienced that night because it really was a special moment for me. I've never seen them live, so I just wanted to relive it through these videos. Um, so. Without further ado, here's the video. Enjoy. Yeah. Uh, good morning. The day's a day. It is the 5th of April. Do you know what that means? 727! Oh, I'm a bit nervous. I feel a little anxious. It hasn't really sinked into me yet that I'm actually going to be in Fifth Harmony or see Fifth Harmony again. And we'll get there. Okay, bye. After Manila.
727 tour Manila experience. Um, it was really amazing. Just the energy of the crowd, the people, the music, and the girls. It was insane. Um, so I'm going to talk about how the day went down, how the concert was, and the people I was with. Um, so. That day I was feeling so nervous and so anxious. I wasn't feeling excited because of my nerves. Um, it hadn't really sunk in that I was going to actually meet them in like a matter of hours. 
Um, so we made it to Manila and then I was really worried that I had to go stand in general admission or I had to check in. So I was really unsure what I was meant to do that day. So I just went with it. I checked in at 4 p.m. and I lined up for the meet and greet and the first person I met was Jamie. I oh we looked at each other and we greeted each other and after that we really just clicked. And then after that I turned around and I see Dana. Dana and I had been messaging each other on Twitter and I didn't realize that was her. We looked at each other and we kind of had that she looks so familiar face and she asked me if I was Ange and I was like yeah how do you know and she's like Twitter and I was like yeah right. that's the girl who I've been talking to all week on Twitter so after that um, I introduced Dana to Jamie and after that we just became really close and we, just, we got to know each other and then the rest was history oh. my meet and greet so we waited and we waited till we got backstage, we were lined up, we saw all these other people coming out, crying, <laughs> the moment started to sink in, I was like, oh my god, this is about to happen. I'm about to see the four girls I love, and it's about to happen right now. Um, Jamie and Dana were trying to get me to remember everything I wanted to say to them. So I had to remember, or had to remember to tell Fifth Harmony that I was from Australia, I bring them Tim Tams, um, I had to give Lauren the drawing I, gave, I drew for her, and to tell them about my independent woman tattoo, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Um, Jamie was in front of me and it was her turn so I was at the door and I could see her proposing. She was so nervous to do this that she was literally not going to do it. Dana and I gave her the confidence or encouraged her to do it and I was standing there watching her do it and she knelt, knelt down and I was literally like jumping up and down. I'm like oh my gosh she's doing it, she's doing it. And, um, she did it and I was so happy for her and then I realized I'm like, oh my god, it's my time. It's my time to um, meet them. And then um, I walked in and Tana's like, hi, you're so cute. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And then I hugged her. Nomani asked me where I was from and I said Australia and then I hugged her. And I turned to Ali and she had this massive smile and I'm just like, oh my god, Ali. And I... Um, hugged her and then the bodyguard told me to pose and then I was like wait wait in my head I was saying wait but it didn't really happen like I wanted a photo where I was they were hugging me but it didn't happen because it was happened so quick and then I was saying thank you and then I was like oh wait Lauren so I looked at Lauren oh Lauren's eyes in her face it's just like oh my god this is Lauren Haregi and then so I put the um, drawing in her hand and then I hugged her and she said I love you and I said I love you back and I was like oh my god is this really happening right now and then I walked out and then I literally forgot I had a bag because I was so like shook and then I walked out into the hallway and I saw Jamie on the floor and then I fell to the floor and I was like oh my god that really happened and then um, Dana came out and she was speechless like she couldn't talk and then after that we, we lined up for the concert we got into the arena and then we, we waited so the concert was great it was amazing um, the girls really slayed it this so good live um, but the waiting game the waiting game was the hardest um, I think we waited an hour and a half till they came out um, Philharmonic were really good I was surprised I've never really heard of them before 
until the concert. They were really good. Um, when we were in the arena, we had really good. We had a really good place, and um, you could see the stage. You could see all the people who were on stage. But as soon as Fifth Harmony came on, as soon as those lights went black, and then the curtain fell, the crowd just went mental. Like all the people pushed us forward, so we were just literally like this on top of each other. And um, it was okay for the first few songs, but then it got a lot more crazier and intense. Um, I s just felt like I was being suffocated with all the people pushing. The crowd was literally swaying from side to side. And um, there was this girl next to me, and she was sweating. She was in tears, and she looked very overwhelmed. And... Um, at that moment, the crowd swayed and then it swayed back and we all just collapsed on top of each other. It was really bad and then I, I saw the girl, as soon as I stood up, I saw the girl and she was just reaching for anyone to help her up. And I was the only one who helped her up. Everyone was so into um, the concert that they didn't even care that people were getting hurt or like being trampled on. So I helped her up and then... I was like, this is not okay. Um, I literally was pulling the girl in front of me to get out of the way and I yelled at her. I'm like, you need to move because we need medical help right now. She's about to pass out. So um, eventually they got security and then I looked at Dane and I'm like, we need to get out because I'm not going to enjoy this. So we did, luckily we did. We pushed through all the people and made it to the back and it was just... 10 times better like I wasn't suffocating I wasn't dying from the pain that old people crushing me um, after that it was just it turned into a really good night um, we were dancing and um, we were just having fun letting loose living in the moment and to be honest Fifth Harmony did amazing when it's so different when you see the girls in a photo or in a video to when you see them in person like it's a different experience to meet someone personally um, when I saw them it was like whoa they look so different that it's just different to what your expectations were and um, their performance as individuals is woof. It exceeded all my expectations like Dinah and Normani they kill dancing and then all their vocals just are on point Ali's high notes are on point and then you have Lauren Horegi Lauren Horegi just has this presence about her like her stage presence is undescribable she's just a goddess thing I know I was a little disappointed because obviously Camila is not part of the group so I wasn't able to see her perform um, but the girls they still slayed Camila's parts like I even sang to Camila's parts because in my heart she will always be part of Fifth Harmony um, so yeah that was my Fifth Harmony experience um, I hope you guys like the video because I really had a great experience so I hope you guys did too so thank you for watching. Bye!